the layers of the zeolite are from the ash settling in the water over a period of time. We don't know if it's months, years or whatever, but uh, that's how it's, the ash is laid down in the, in the fresh water, not salt water, uh, and that becomes zeolite. And now, when the 300 million years ago, when the Great Dividing Range pushed up on the east coast of Australia, when it pushed the coal up and then pushed the zeolite over, and pushed the zeolite over on its edge, like that, and that's how our deposit now is only 40 metres wide, but runs north-south. Uh, Zeolbrite is recognised as being one of the hardest zeolites found in the world and because of its hardness it's going to last a lot longer in filters. Uh, not only do we do backyard pools but we do commercial pools, spray parks and also uh, water treatment plants. And it's been recognised that it's not the cost of the filter media but it's the labour content in sucking it out and uh, refilling it. Zeolbrite is quite a unique filter media. Uh, tests show that we can actually come down as small as two microns. Uh, people make many claims about what they can do, but we've actually went to the Australian Water Quality Centre for the tests, which were done by a guy by the name of Paul Monas, and uh, initially we'd hoped to come down as small as five microns, but uh, when the tests were conducted, it came down to two microns. Uh, the, the two microns, it will pull out both Giardia and Cryptosporidium, which are two of the nasties, especially in commercial application. Another thing that hasn't been mentioned about the zeolite is the fact that its other benefits, it will actually pull out ammonia, but it will pull out other heavy metals. And this is something quite unique because there's no other filter media on the market that will do the same.